Hello guys, welcome to another session of AppSheet and more. I know you're excited to see me. I'm happy to see you too. And in this video, I'm going to be continuing where I left off in my last video. In my last video, I showed you that there was so much more with the deck view that we are not using. And in this video, I'm going to show you one more feature you can apply in the deck view to make your apps look amazing. So if you're excited to see this feature, join me and let's do this in AppSheet. let's get this party started so this is the app we're going to be creating with our deck view the idea is to simply chat our quarterly performance of each team member with a demo chat and this is possible with a deck view so right here we have our team lead alika and then these are her quarterly performances so quarter one that's how much she rigged in that's her actual against her budget um here she read in 100% of her budget and here she read in only 47% of her budget. So you can see each team member's performance is displayed over here nicely with a donor chart and then the amount are showed over here. So we're going to see how it's possible to create a view like this in AppSheet. So let's get started. For our app, we're going to start off with our database. So this is the database I've already prepared for our app. So you have the name of the employees, their pictures the dates of birth, gender, and so on and so forth, emails, and so on and so forth, right? And then we have their quarterly sales performances. So this is the ID column, this is the quarter, this is their email, which is the ref to the main um, staff table, this is the amount, and then this is the target achieved, right? Percentages have already been calculated, but if you want to calculate them, it's also possible in AppSheet. So we're going to go into our app, okay? Currently, there's no data source, and we're going to bring in those two data points. So our data, Google Sheets, okay, the name of my table is users, so I'm going to just call that user search, um, so that's it, I'm going to select this, okay, and then there are a lot of tables in here, but I don't need all these, I only want staff and then quarterly performance are these two tables, okay, now once you have your tables in AppSheet, Okay, what you need to do is to ensure that the data types are right. Okay, I normally like to start from the dimension table and then I'll go on to the fact table. In this case, the dimension table is the staff table, right? It's the table that has um, records that explain some components in the fact table. In the fact table, yeah. So, um, so we're going to come here, names, name, surname, okay, image, good, date of it, yes, gender, enum, contacts, number. Uh, I can make this phone, okay, email is email, my status is that, that is this. Now my key, okay, is going to be the email, right, good, that's going to be my key. And it comes to now quarterly performance, so this is that, and um, this name should be ref, okay, and it should be a ref to the staff table, good, that brings that connection, fantastic. Um, then we have amount, then we have that's number, percentage, grades. Okay, so we, we, we almost have with there. This is going to be a very short video, so let me just save this. Okay, so let's come to views. So we basically have no views at this point. Let me create a view for our stuff. So I'm going to call this stuff. Okay, I'm going to take this one, stuff table. So this is a card view, right? But we're going to use a deck view for this. And then you notice that um, we have some missing images. Now, one way to ensure that even though you have missing images, you do not have like an empty field over there is to create something like a placeholder. So a profile picture placeholder so that in the event where you have no pictures, you can fall on that. So I'm going to come here. I come to just look for profile picture. Okay, uh, and then I'll just go and download. So you right click this, I'm going to come to save image as. Okay, uh, let me go to materials. Okay, and I'm going to save this as profile picture. Save. Okay, now all I want is just the path to locate that image in my Google Drive. So I'm going to upload that image once and then I'll get the path. So I'll click on edit picture 
and I'll go back to materials. Okay, here I have it. I'm going to click open. So I'm going to save this. Let me bring this down. Save. Bring up here. Okay, good. So I have this in place. So I'm going to open, show this in preview. Good. So now that I have at least one placeholder for an event where someone doesn't provide a picture, I'm going to create a function that's going to say that if the profile, if the picture column is empty, use this link instead or use this path to this image instead of leaving it blank. So I'm going to come to users. Let me cancel this. Go to stuff. Um, where is my profile picture? I think, I think it's this guy, right? Let me just check to be sure. Uh, Ricket. Yes, it's Ricket. Okay, so I'm going to copy the link. So I'm going to copy that link to this particular image. And then I'm going to come back to App Sheets. Okay, and I'm going to come to the staff table. And I'm going to create a virtual column which is going to hold this path. So I'm going to click this, right? I'm going to call this um, placeholder image. Okay, and it's simply going to be my pathway in um, per, um, quotations. I'm going to save this, right? So we have our pathway created. So basically, we're going to say that if the image column is empty, give us this, right? So let me save this first. Let me show you how it looks like now. So in staff, in place of our main image, I'm going to place, um, let me just make sure. The data type, which is very important, is an image. It was, it was not going to show over there. So I set to image, I come back here, I come here, and I change this to placeholder. Okay, so uh, show in preview. So I'm going to save this and let's see what happens. Okay, so you realize that our placeholder image what takes effect, right? But we want it to only show when the person doesn't provide an image. Okay. So what are we going to do? We're going to come here, okay, and we're going to create a virtual column called show image. Basically, what we're going to say is if picture is equal to blank, then I want you to give me placeholder image else return picture. And I save this, click done, and save. Okay, so we'll come back here, views, and then we're going to change this back to show. Okay, so let's see if it worked. Okay, so this was what we uploaded, but then Pedro and Daniel are still not showing their images. So what are we going to do? Sometimes um, AppSheet doesn't or AppSheet is not able to tell for some reason that the column, is, which is a picture, is empty. So what I like to do is to create yet another virtual column that takes the text in that picture column so I can test whether it's empty or not. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to click plus, call this image check. Now all these columns are not going to show, so don't worry. You can create as many virtual columns as you need. I'm going to say basically just take the text of the picture column right i'm going to say this i'm say don't show this so it doesn't show anywhere in the data okay now in our show image section instead of checking for picture i'm going to check for what yes you get to write um image check i'm going to click save save this and let's see what happens so you go in here and then now you have pedro in there and you have daniel so now that's a little trick you can keep under your sleeves for your app sheets views. So we'll come back here and then we're going to change this to rounded image. Okay. And then we're just going to quickly take off our action buttons. Now the magic really comes in when we bring in the nested column table. So you're going to click here and then you see quarter performances. So currently these are her quarterly performances, right? We're going to edit these. And I'm going to click edit view, right? Now, what we're going to use is actually card view. In the card view, they have a view that looks just like a deck view. So you come here to list, right? And once you set it to list, in the image section, you can place your target achieved, right? So this target achieved, then will show as what a donor chart, okay? 
and I'm going to place here the amount okay and I'm going to place here the quarter fantastic now let's quickly edit the amount so I'm going to come here edit amount and bring in um, this to price and then I'm just going to set this to USD and I'm going to click done I'm going to click save I'm also going to edit target achieved right to no decimal place click done click save okay so now let's come back to staff show in preview and then we have this so with this trick you can visualize donut charts when you use card views as nested tables in your deck view so i hope you enjoyed this session and i hope to see you in a subsequent one bye Thank you.